Hello and welcome, my name is Amulya and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, we are going to have a look at the collapsible content block type on Dawn Theme 9. So, let's get started. First thing first, go ahead and log into your admin and then make sure you already have Dawn Theme or Dawn Based Theme, Dawn Powered Theme. You can see I've got Dawn uh, and let's see minus 6.0.2 but collapsible content is available on almost every Dawn theme okay so uh, let's see so first you go ahead and check whether you have Dawn theme installed or not activated and published and then go to products any products just going to pick this product here and then you can see this is the content we have i'm going to take okay this part of the content and then you go to customizer Okay, let's so go to theme. I uh, haven't made any changes, so I'm not going to save it. Then go to customize to add content to your collapsible block type on Dawn Themes product to template. So you might have multiple templates. Okay, so if you make changes or customize one template, it is not going to affect the other template based on product default template so you'll have to do it manually like for all the templates uh, under this product template type okay so this is basically the default template uh, let me quickly change the product here and then you can see on the left side these are all the sections and blocks under the sections that by default this dawn theme has okay so we are going to take care of this collapsible content type block content block that collapses and it lets you choose an icon for the block type sorry the block the collapsible block your heading and then obviously you can type in the, the content right so this is collapsible row which is under where is it multi uh, let me check yeah so these are collapsible content so you can see one two three four collapsible rows so under blocks uh, you can add as many as you want you can add collapsible rows as many as you want so we are going to add content to these added or collapsible rows so i'm going to paste that content that i copied from the page and then you save it you, you it also lets you choose from so many uh, icons and then obviously you can change the okay change the title so we changed this one you can see this got changed and similarly i'm going to paste that same content again and change the uh, icon as well so this is collapsible content that you can utilize to uh, utilize on different sites 
uh, niche rights okay apart from this you can also select a page if you wish to i'm not going to select on this particular row I, i'll give you um, an idea how it works on on the next collapsible content And this is going to be the same for almost every uh, product that uses this particular default product template. So let me check key instructions and then the same. Is it too long? Let me check if I get uh, and let's say I don't have this content and I want to select product so uh, i can go ahead sorry i can select a page here apart from this if if each product has different content for these collapsible rows you can simply go ahead and select from uh, what you call uh, meta fields okay so you can add a meta field right from here and then go ahead and add the content to products each products meta fields and you can dynamically select the meta fields value from these icons which you see just above the uh, the content in input boxes okay so i've already selected this page here i'm not going to put anything here but i think you can do add content right there okay as well so that's everything in that cells but you can customize it too you can add your more more um you can make it more colorful and then uh, so what i'm going to do i'm going to preview in actual window yeah, in actual its own tab and then go to products the same product however it's going to be available on every product and we will check that in a second so you can see now i can <coughs> excuse me so you can see it is almost the same font size and you want to make it slightly different than the actual body content here so those things must be customized this is very much uh, okay so you can see this is coming from a particular page so if you have something like that you can assign that page to this particular uh, collapsible row and this is it for this collapsible row on dawn theme you can customize it you can add custom CSS so for example if you have to add custom CSS you simply right click and go to inspect to this particular item and uh, summary title so let me check you want to make this action summary title under what so it says product accordion so basically you type in product accordion and then summary title then you add your CSS here so I will just click plus and then I will go to font size okay so it doesn't work so under summary we have h2 this one accordion title so accordion title is there uh, 
so we don't have font size here I'm going to add font size So let's say I want to keep it 25 so that's how you can go about it and then display inline block height margin you want to increase it okay something like that and then you can obviously change the background so background cheek color for this summary title div uh, instead huh? like that i mean you got the idea so and then you are adding to supply pixel and this is how you can simply copy everything so similarly goes with the other accordion titles so copy everything and then go to your uh, customizer you can put the CSS right here right where the CSS section here or you can go to where is the theme settings there is a box for custom CSS. Custom CSS right there. You can put your CSS here and save it. It is going to work. Uh, then you can see. So what I will do? I will I just. I will take this this section which was. Accordion. So I'll take everything from right here, and I'll only keep which is which is required. So we already have the stuff there. I'm going to just keep the font size, display. That's it. And then I'm going to save it. Refresh. You can see this is how it looks now. So uh, this is very quick demonstration how you can make it a little uh, customized to your store type, store niche, whatever you call it. And then uh, right from there you can take it. Alright, that's it for this video guys. So if you go to next product, any other product that uses the same template you would see it in the same fashion okay the same content okay thank you so much for watching this video please like share subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave your comments